Additional snow events are likely coming your way in the Willamette Valley over the next couple of days as a goodbye to meteorological winter. So this video will be an update on what's going to be happening the next couple of days. The National Weather Service has posted a winter weather advisory for the Portland metro area and the lower Columbia River Valley, I guess that's what you call it. I don't actually know the official name for that area. The Columbia River Gorge, the Northern Oregon Cascades, and the Northern Coast Range are under a winter storm warning, while the Southern Coast Range and Southern Oregon Cascades are under a, or Central Oregon Cascades, sorry, is under a winter weather advisory. There is no watches or warnings posted for the Central and Southern Willamette Valley. The setup for Sunday and going into Monday, this first system will be more of your typical transitionary event with more of a cold front setup with the low situated off to the north of this cold front. And as this cold front pushes through, by the way, this is not the exact shape of the cold front. This is just here for easy drawing. As this cold front passes through, it will bring through the snow into rain that will happen throughout the evening hours tonight into Sunday morning. Most of us by Sunday morning will have already transitioned over to rain, but that doesn't mean we can't get a quick inch or two to happen. As we go through the day Sunday, that will taper off into just rain showers or even nothing at all. I am anticipating a brief dry period, but there's another system that's coming through on Monday into Tuesday. This one is more similar to the pattern we had on Wednesday that produced the big snowstorm with a low pressure system that is coming closer to shore. I expect this one on Monday to stall a little bit further offshore than the one that occurred on Wednesday. It's also expected to be a little bit stronger, so that will bring in bands of precipitation further east from that low pressure system than what the low pressure system on Wednesday did to us. Models do differ on where this low pressure system is going to be moving ashore eventually on Tuesday. My best estimate right now is probably between Aberdeen and Willapa Bay at this time, which still could bring snow to the Portland area, but may not bring snow to the Willamette Valley. The timeline specifically for Corvallis, at midnight tonight, I am expecting snow to be happening, though I'm not expecting much in the way of accumulations as you'll see on the snowfall map and this is going to be pretty wet snow unlike what we experienced on Wednesday. Rain still mix possible on Sunday morning though I think it's a better chance that this is just plain old rain. Plain old rain showers by late Sunday morning no matter what though. Highs around 45 degrees or so. Brief dry period during the overnight hours. There's an isolated shower or two and then Monday morning as we shift back to offshore flow that will bring another chance of snow all the way down to the valley floor for everyone. However, I do expect it to transition to rain quicker for Corvallis, though that is off the current timeline that I can show on this slide. For Portland, very similar. I am expecting low temperatures to bottom out right around 33 degrees tonight for the airport, though I will note that I did take a look at the current observations right before recording this at about 8 30 p.m tonight and many areas are already below freezing especially the what i'm going to just call the washington county c so north plains banks forest grove and then the shahala mountains curve so just especially there watch out for some quick accumulations but i do expect that to transition to a rainstorm mix if not fully rain by the time you wake up on S Sunday morning, though I do think there's a higher chance of it being a rain snow mix or even fully snow for some isolated areas than Corvallis. Back to good old rain showers though by late Sunday with highs only getting into the lower 40s. And similar to Corvallis, I am expecting snow to return by you know, overnight Sunday into Monday after the brief dry period. The snow totals that I'm expecting on Sunday Trace to an inch and a half down in the southern and central Willamette Valley, excluding Dallas. And 
in about half an inch to three inches anywhere else in the Willamette Valley, including the Portland metro area and a majority of the hills, though some areas above about a thousand feet will see higher than the three inch total and creep into that. I wouldn't say you're getting to that seven inches, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's some higher peaks like top of Shahala Mountain getting to three to five inches instead. And so just FYI, if you happen to live up there, Cascades and Coast Range anywhere from three to nine inches, depending on elevation, gorge two to six inches and the coast nothing or maybe a trace of snow very briefly for monday's snow totals very similar in the cascades and the columbia for gorge to the valley i'm just going to say a widespread trace to three inches again that depends on where the slow decides to park we'll have more information tomorrow on where that's going to be so i will update you on tomorrow's video and if it parks on the southern end of where the computer models are suggesting, it's probably going to be more two to three inches. If it's on the northern end, probably just a trace. Otherwise, the coast could get in on a little bit of an action with zero to one inches. But like I said earlier, everything else seems to be similar to Sunday's system when it comes to snow totals. Now, on to the seven-day forecast for Corvallis. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, snow showers to start the day most likely, transitioning either into a rain-snow mix or fully rain showers on each of the days with highs in the low to mid 40s. A singular dry day on Wednesday with a high right around 45. Thursday attempts to make it to 50, but I do not think it will at this time, while Friday and Saturday a back into the mid 40s. And this is more typical for late December or early January than it is going into early March. The average high for this time of year is about 54 degrees for reference. Lows will be generally above freezing with the exception of Tuesday night into Wednesday at 25 degrees. For the Portland metro area, very similar how it's going to be snow and terrain for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, though on Tuesday system, there is a reasonable chance that it could stay snow throughout the day if the low sets up correctly. However, I do not expect sticking snow throughout the day on Tuesday. I would only expect it Tuesday morning at this time, and I do think most areas will transition to a rain snow mix, if not fully rain on Tuesday, though the high will only reach 39 degrees, which is a daily record cold high temperature for that day. Similar dry day on Wednesday, though not getting as warm. And then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday highs in the mid 40s with a rain snow mix chance on Friday. A, though I'm at this time, it does not look like this could evolve into anything serious but since it's still far out it is something that i am keeping an eye on at this time so that is it for this video i will come out with another video tomorrow about monday's snow chances and i will preview tuesday's snow totals as well until then please stay safe out there and take care